This is the village of Ogidi Ijumu in Kogi State, Nigeria. It's home to adire, a dyeing technique that dates back hundreds of years. This ancient dyeing method has been practiced for centuries across Africa, but cheap imports and counterfeit fabrics have weakened Nigeria's local textile sector, meaning this ancient art form is slowly disappearing. Chief Nike Okundaye, one of Nigeria's most famous artists and textile designers, is on a mission to preserve and revive the tradition of Adire for generations to come. Nike's workshop in Ogidi is one of the few remaining places in Nigeria that practices the art of Adire. It's very important to support this local traditional Adire technique because it's dying off. This is our heritage. Before, they always say the secret of Adire will not be known by anybody. But now they are ready to let people see the secret. And the secret is in the details. They crush the leaves from the indigo plant into small balls and leave them to dry in the sun. The leaves are then boiled in a natural solution. Pieces of fabric are repeatedly dipped until they are dyed and reveal their unique patterns. Women in workshops weave organic cotton, which is used as fabric for the adire designs. Making one piece of adire can take up to six weeks, making them a special purchase with a long history. Adire is very important because it's a way the patterns are the way of communication in those days. For example, if you are in love with your, and you are meeting your lover for the first time, you will wear a dire that has sugar. That sugar is sweet. My lover, you are sweet. So you wear the pattern. So it's a way of communication before the telephone comes. When you wear a dire, you are showing love to your people. You are telling the people I'm in love with you, I wear my blue. The blue color is the color of love in Nigeria. Nigeria has been receiving international publicity for its dyed textiles. Adire can be seen in many materials and colors. Michelle Obama has worn it to state dinners at the White House and Lupita Nyong'o to Hollywood parties. And it's been spotted in the pages of Vogue thanks to Nigerian fashion designer Lamre De Silva Ajayi, who has collaborated with Chief Nike. Tell us about some of the famous celebrities and glamorous women that you've dressed from head to toe in Adire. I did um, a collection in Milan. Olivia Pratt wore it to some international events and I also met with um, Anna Winter. And she saw the pieces and she was like, oh my goodness, were these made in Nigeria? I've also had some of those pieces being sold at the Dolls Pigatsu in Dolce and Gabbana. What was it that inspired you as a designer to use local fabrics such as Adire? When you have someone like Antinike, it was very nice to do a collaboration with her. So we went on this journey together and um, we looked at Ulumo Rock. It's traditionally known for Adire. My inspiration came from the rocks and then um, she, brought, she brought it to life by putting it together with an excellent um, use of dye patterns and we created these amazing fabrics. And we had this collection together and it was, it was such a dream when everything came to life. It was so beautiful. So look at this now. This is like the one from the Rock Delight collection. This is mixed with lace. Look at the colours. This is incredible because what we saw in the village to what we're seeing here just shows the diversity. But well, you know what I would love? What? I would love you to try some pieces. <gasps> really? Oh, this is so beautiful. I love it on you. I love it. I love it too. I love it. This is just like an arrow. This is so beautiful. And the length works for you. The length, so nice. So these are some of the colors. This has got some like um, yellow, the indigo, blue like dye. How important is it for African designers or designers on the African continent to use local fabrics in their designs? I can mix today Adire with um, Chantilly lace, and that's um, English, and with our own traditional fabric. I can take Ankara wax and mix it with organza. Designers like myself and so many others have made it very, very beautiful and opulent and you can wear it to almost any event. The red carpet rolls in and the you know, Nigerians are very fashion, fashion forward. 
there was a time about, I think this is about 14, 15 years ago, for you to look good, you had to wear something international. But today, Nigerians all over, everyone is looking so good in their own attire. I have people like Naomi Campbell also talking about African fashion. We feel really happy that people perceive the African fashion and the way it's been seen today. African fashion has come to a place of its own. People talk about Africa being the next um, chapter, the next global space. Being a designer in this era is a very good feeling because there's only better than using your own traditional homegrown attires, uh, patterns here, yeah, uh, local artisans, and having put that stuff on the global platform. I think it's a very good time.